there. I see that you are doing some very creepy looking masks. Uh, would you like to tell me more about it? Uh, most of the stuff we do is silica masks um, for all sorts of things, for film, for TV, for theatre, schools, anything, cosplay, you name it, we do it. The process really starts off with a clay sculpt, um, which you can see I'm um, very early stages of working on this guy here. I'm still very much tinkering with his character and how he's going to look. Oh God. Like, it's horrible, isn't it? Yeah, it's, re it's really stretchy and it's really flesh-like. So the masks then get cast in that. Uh, and then uh, what my wife Claire's doing at the moment is she's hair punching this guy. Uh -huh. um, this is our take on Mr. Hyde from Jekyll and Hyde. Mm -hmm. um, so we're just adding some, some sort of Victorian mutton chops and some horrible creepy eyebrows. What do you like about it? It's the, it's the vibe and the people. Uh -huh. uh, it, it, you, just, you just spend the whole weekend the weekend seems to go in about five minutes because it's so much fun and you just chat to people constantly, you meet wonderful people, you can go and see some incredible films. Hi James, so your film is at the festival, would you like to tell me more about it? Sure, uh, my film is called Caretaker, uh, it's a ghost story based off personal events that I experienced with my grandmother while she was suffering from dementia. When we finish a film, it's quite strange because it's got horror elements, but I wouldn't specifically call it a horror. However, it's done quite well at horror festivals, so I was kind of researching and Romford was on the list of festivals that I submitted to and mm -hmm. sent it and they liked it, so here we are. Hey! <laughs> So I can see some really cool um, stickers and magnets and lots of things. So basically, my name is Nafo. Um, it's a false equivalency of Art Nouveau. So I'm inspired by Alphonse Mucha and the Art Nouveau period, which is in between 1819 to 1910. However, I fuse it with classic horror and other movies as well. However, I'm also a very big fan of cats. But I keep it vintage by keeping it to the same area of the photos as well. So it's digital mixed media, but everything you see has been created by me, including the packaging as well. Me and Christopher Lee. Um, I've been doing this for about seven years, but I've been selling for around about three. Uh, I tend to do a lot of markets, events, especially film festivals like this. What I like with Romford Horror is that it's indie, independent films. Uh -huh. So these are films that you can find amongst family and friends. Whereas with Dark Fest, it is films that you may know of, but they're normally retro. Would you like to tell me what is your stand about? Like, what do you do? Yeah. Okay, my name is PJ Blakey Novice, which is up there. Okay. Um, I'm a horror writer, so I've got my own books here. Um, I also run Red Cape Publishing, which is a small publishing house based near Brighton. There's 13 stories in each book, 13 different writers, right. all around the same theme. So I've got stories in some of them, but it's a lot of writers from all over the world. And do you come to like uh, Romford every year or this is, like different yeah, places? Yeah, this is my third year at Romford uh -huh. um, and this is actually my favourite festival. This is the one that Why is we the do the most. The people, I think. Everyone is very friendly. Um, I sell a lot of books here. Yesterday I had a, a full table, both okay. tables, and nice. you know people very sort of receptive to what I'm bringing here, which is obviously why I'm here anyway. Okay. Um, but no, I do this one and I do Horror on Sea in South End. Heard in about January. This one as well. Yes. Cool. Yes. Well, thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hi, Spencer. So you are the organizer of the Romford Horror Film Festival. So we started the festival four years ago. Um, the idea was to make a festival that was accessible to everyone. Mm -hmm. So we've always kept the price very, very low um, because of our relationship with the cinema. Um, as we grow, they give us more screens. So that's really nice. Uh, this year we've shown. Uh, the Medusa Touch. Tomorrow morning we've got a film called Turbo Kid, we've had The Entity, we've had Possession. It's a nice mix of um, classic and indie films because we think that as, by using the classic films you can lure people into the world of independent cinema a little bit. We had 14 vendors here today selling everything from candles um, through to DVDs and Blu-rays. And the last question is what makes Romford Horror unique? The accessibility of the price and 
the ability to evolve around the environment. Cool. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much.